My name is Emmanuel Rodriguez. I've been ministering to Spanish-speaking people since 1999. For the past several years, my family and I have been serving as missionaries in the beautiful island of Puerto Rico. Our church is located in the center of the island, all the way up in the tallest parts of the mountain in the small town called Hayuya. We arrived in Hayuya in the year 2011. During our time there, we did everything that we could to get the gospel out. Preaching the gospel in the streets, preaching it in the plazas, passing out gospel tracts, going door to door to share the gospel with folks in their homes. One by one, the Lord started working in hearts and folks started getting saved. Later, we would baptize these new converts and later they were added to the church. Through the salvation of souls, our church began to grow. Hello, my name is Louise Danielle. I have been attending Calvary Baptist Church in Hialeah, Puerto Rico ever since I got saved four years ago through the witness of Pastor Manny Rodriguez. God used him as his instrument to show me that I was out of God's will. The Lord was not pleased with my life, but through Brother Manny he showed me that there was a Savior, a Savior that would forgive me of my sins and that he would straighten out my life that he could save me and that I could avoid the penalty of sin, which is damnation in hell. As the church grew, we also started a Bible Institute for the purpose of discipling new converts and training men for the ministry. Through this institute, God raised up men who would later serve as leaders in the church. What a blessing it was to see God beginning to use our students to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ to their own people. I'd like to take a minute to talk to you about one of our students. His name is Quito Padua. God bless you. My name is Quito Enrique Padua. I live in Puerto Rico and I was an addict for 27 years. As an addict, I lived on the streets. I overdosed on drugs over 20 times. I used heroin intravenously and did crack. I was also an alcoholic. But glory to God, while I was in prison, I found the Lord and trusted Him as my personal Savior. My life has been completely transformed by the Lord. I met Pastor Manny and the Lord put me in His hands and under His teachings. He instructed me in the Holy Scriptures and took me from zero. He did a good work for the glory of God because He helped me to be able to preach the Word of God, learn to put together sermons, and with the Bible Institute, He taught us how to study and correctly interpret the Word of God. I am grateful for Pastor Manny and his family, and I hope that they will be of service to you wherever the Lord leads them. God eventually led Quito to our church. He became one of my right-hand men as we began to work with Quito, training him for the ministry. In July of 2017, we ordained Brother Quito to become the new pastor of our church. Now that the church in Puerto Rico has been totally established, the obvious next question is, where do we go from here? The original plan has always been to go to other parts of the island of Puerto Rico to plant new churches. But then in April of 2017, I got a call from a pastor all the way down in Paraguay, South America. Pastor Alfredo has a Bible Institute with almost 40 men that are hungry and desirous to not only learn the Word of God, but to be preachers of the gospel of Jesus Christ. It's been difficult for me to be able to uh, do the Bible Institute because of the great burden and responsibility that I have as pastor of two different churches. Pastor Alfredo needs someone to train these men and prepare them for the ministry. So he asked us if we would pray and consider this matter. After much prayer, 
and counsel with other men of God, such as our pastor from my home and sending church, we believe that God has given us all the confirmation that we need to know that this is indeed an open door from the Lord and that this is the next step for our ministry. Our vision is to simply go down to Paraguay, South America and do everything that we did by the grace of God in the island of Puerto Rico, which is preach the gospel of Jesus Christ, train men for the ministry, and plant Bible-believing churches. Hello, brethren. My name is Carl Baker, and I'm pastor of Calvary Baptist Church, and I've been uh, fortunate to be pastor here for 42 years in Beaufort, South Carolina. Brother Manny and Maria Rodriguez and their family have been missionaries out of our church for the past six years to uh, Puerto Rico and have been faithful in that calling. And now Brother Manny, through the Spirit of God, is, is moving his ministry now to Paraguay uh, to help start with the Bible uh, Institute work there. And we're just, we're just delighted to recommend him to you and your churches where you are to continue in your support. And if you're not supporting, we pray that you will consider him having his family in to present their work for their support that they're going to be needing when they get to Paraguay in that ministry. My brethren, can you imagine what God might do with 30 to 40 sold out, spirit-filled, fully surrendered, God-called men who are trained and prepared for the ministry ready to take the gospel of Christ to their own people. My brethren, what a great opportunity and an open door that the Lord has presented us. Would you please help us through your prayers and financial support that a mighty work might be done for the honor and the glory of God. Thank you for your time. May God bless you is our prayer.